Good morning. It is Sunday, March 7th, I think. I do know, though, it is spring forward today. And if you're like me and you woke up to your cell phone clock being accurate, you're going to walk around the house and get into your car and think, well, wait a second, is this right? So you have to adjust your watches, you have to adjust your, well, no one has a VCR anymore. Actually, that reminds me, I do have one thing I need to adjust. Let's go do that right now. Let's see. Yep, there it is. It is not 9.30. Well, that's weird. It is 10.30. And obviously, this is not going to be easy. But I will show you something that might be even easier. Uh, did I say something or a few things? Today... We are going to go check the clocks in each of these brand new vehicles and see if any of them have used the GPS clock or have some kind of built-in computer algorithm that adjusts the clock to the new spring forward time. So let's start with uh, the Mazda and then we'll work our way to the other two. And we'll see just what it's like in new cars these days and what the differences are between the brands and their different styles. And um, I really don't understand the point of this other than to show you how easy or difficult it may be. I'm not even sure what to expect, but we'll find out. Let's go. The problem with having three vehicles, of course, in a fairly large complex is you gotta remember where you parked them all. Luckily, this one's right here, the Mazda CX-30. So we'll do this one first. All right. It's my first time in the car today. And all I'm going to do is start it up. Let's close the door here. And uh, let's see. I'll just actually hit the three mark. So there's no warning or no interaction telling me what the uh, actual time maybe, so 10.33. Is that correct? I don't know. And what we'll do is we'll go to the menu and we'll go to settings. And I don't know if there's a clock one, system settings, clock. Ah, there you go, GPS time sync, it's on. And look at that, daylight savings time is already checked and we're good to go. So in the Mazda, you don't have to make any changes. So now let's find out what happens in the Hellcat. I think I know where the Hellcat is. It's down here somewhere. Do, 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 do. Kind of a nice day right now. It's gonna be warm pretty soon, 80 degrees tomorrow. Nice. All right, foot on the brake, start it up. Ah, so there we go, 9.35, so it did not automatically adjust. Oh, it just did. It automatically adjusted, look at that, 10.35. So I'm assuming if we go into apps, Settings, clock, sync with GPS, time for my 12 hours. Well, we're good to go there. We got one more car to do. I don't like turning off a cold engine, but you know, that's life. Next. Now, I guess it's a misconception to think that all YouTubers are rich. <laughs> I'm definitely not rich, but I do appreciate your support. Like, subscribe, comment, ads, all that stuff. Hit the bell, notifications. All right, well, right away it says 9.30, which we know is incorrect. So I'll put my foot on the brake and turn it on. Close the door. There we go, it automatically adjusted. You see there, 10.38. So given that it's automatic, uh, what do we do? We go to, hmm, yeah, we're in a Volvo. So it goes like this, we go to settings 
And we go to system, date and time, 24 o'clock, blah, 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 auto time, use GPS, and then we have date format, month, day, year, and yeah, I mean, the Volvo really has it simple hide. look at that, okay, well that's it, you know, I don't even have to select a time zone, it's just automatic, and the best part of all these cars is that as you're driving along from state to state, east to west at least, and you go through the different longitudes, you go through different time zones, and as that happens, these clocks automatically update. And you'll notice in all of these cars, we don't ever have that analog clock, but if you did have one, with the exception of the Chrysler 300S, and maybe the Infiniti, when these clocks automatically update to GPS on the digital side, they also update the uh, clock, the analog clock as well. The Chrysler does not. But, and you'll see that on my road trip video if, you, if you're interested, I did a Chrysler 300S uh, drive and uh, from, from a while ago, two years ago, I think. So that video is kind of old. You can go find it. But this is it. Modern cars are this easy. You just turn them on like a phone or like your tablet or your computer and it's already ready to go. So that's pretty cool. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day and have some rest. Get some rest. See you later.